What's up guys, in today's video we're going to capacity test and tear down the Expert Power 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Let's not waste any time, let's get straight to the test. If you're new here, my name's Jeremy. In this video series, I am capacity testing and tearing down small lithium iron phosphate batteries commonly used in fish finders, astrophotography, and ham radios. Each frame of this video is a one minute time lapse. I'm gonna stop it right here. This frame right here, this is the voltage right before the battery died, 10.24. One minute later, we completed our test at five hours, 17 minutes with a capacity of 10.5. So basically 10.6 amp hours, so pass right there. This battery weighs in at two pounds, 11.2 ounces. Let's do a quick short circuit test on this. We don't wanna see any current right here. Okay, so that's passed. At this point in the video, it's time to avoid the warranty. Let's crack this guy open. Look at the build quality. Here we go. It's already seems to me like it's sealed up a little bit better than some, some of the previous batteries I've done. All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess here and then we're gonna talk about this pack. All right guys, that was a big pain in the butt to crack open and get this cell out. Now, this battery sells on Amazon for $85. That's $8.50 an amp hour, which is a pretty decent price for a 10 amp hour battery. One thing I did notice on the listing, it says that there's low temperature charging protection on this. And I was looking for a thermometer and I couldn't find one, but I actually found this little tiny head right there on the BMS. That's your temperature probe head, soldered and glued down to the BMS. So uh, I would have liked to have seen that on the cell itself because uh, that BMS is gonna get off, give off heat and skew that temperature reading. So, well, I guess I'm gonna have to just throw the whole pack in the freezer and hook up a charger to it, see if that works. So stick around to the end of the video. I'll, I'll do that at the end here. Uh, let's talk about what I don't like. These balance leads here, they're all crisscrossing and I, I don't like that. You really want those balance leads separated out. You don't want there to be any chance of shorting. Um, I also do not like it that there's no insulation between the balance leads and the cells themselves. The balance leads will be positive and the cells, the outside case of the cells themselves will be negative. I do not like that there's no insulation around the cells, especially around the series um, cells. So on this pack, these are 26650 cells. This is a 4S 3P configuration. These three are in parallel. These three are in parallel. And the same on the other side. These are parallel, those are parallel. And then this parallel pack is in series with that one. That one's in series with that one. And that one's in series with that one. So what you have is you have 3.2 volts over here. And then right next to it, nothing but a little bit of shrink wrap separating them you have 12.8 volts over here so yeah, I don't like that at all and it's super easy fix all you need is fish paper right down the middle here now separate those cells overall this pack is it's pretty decent right in line with the amped 12 amp hour or the Dakota lithium 10 amp hour uh, let's get this guy cooling off we'll test out that low temperature charging protection circuit all right guys we got the battery here on the charger it's in the freezer all right guys i've given this about every opportunity i can uh it's been here for about an hour as you can see we're still red we're still charging i mean yeah that's a that's a failure. All right, guys, so freezer test just got done, uh, and the results speak for themselves. You know, I, I just really hate it when battery companies advertise something, and then they don't actually work. So, uh, yep, can't recommend this battery. Neither can Milo. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one, guys.